Dr. Hewlett, you have been um, in the school-based um, special ed side for over 25 years. Uh, when you were a principal, did you train your staff to appropriately know the IEP, track the IEP, and implement the IEP? So uh, I'm embarrassed to say absolutely not. Did I try? Did I take steps? Did I do some one-offs here and there? I did. But one of the realities for principals is that they are overwhelmed. They are tasked with a gazillion things. Um, on any given day, I spent more time mopping up um, issues in the bathroom, um, dealing with angry parents, dealing with happy parents, dealing with frustrated teachers, dealing with happy teachers, um, broken lockers, you name it, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., we did a lot of things outside of special education and in meaningful education. So it's a time issue, it's also a resource issue, it's also a support issue. The other reality is a lot of district people within special education haven't had a lot of training. So even calling them in doesn't always solve the problem and they're very rarely available at the level we would need them because they're not resourced appropriately. So until we fund this thing beyond 14 or 15 percent and we stop hamstringing the districts and hamstringing the principals and essentially blaming them, what we need to do is blame the individuals who will not give them the resources and the support they deserve to do the work they want to do because our schools love our children, but they have never remotely come close to being given what they need to do right by our children.